Alrighty guys, we got the car on jack stands right now. This is how it's gonna be chilling for the next however long this project takes. Wow, I didn't see that. What we're gonna do today guys, um, and for the next project essentially, is we're gonna be installing um, risers for the diff um, and also for the subframe right here. So the risers are gonna be sitting right in between this, which will sit in between that and give you a little more, uh, again, risen um and then also solid bushings for this i don't know if you guys can even see this but this is cracked already and it is leaking as you can tell um and even you can probably see here that's diff fluid right there so i've hit my diff a few times it's very scratched up um shit, this is my exhaust so we need to fix this guys take care of all of it in order to get the subframe off everything on the rear suspension needs to come off so i've taken the wheels off i've wd 4 everything and now we're going to start taking things off what i'm I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep everything on the knuckle there. I think I'm just gonna unscrew everything off the subframe, um, take off the coilovers here, and then just get the uh, CV joint out and then take off the whole knuckle. Uh, I'm gonna have the caliper just, I'm gonna zip tie it somewhere up here maybe, um, and then have that hanging off. I'm very nervous to just get started. I've been like stalling. Um, but once I get going, I'm just gonna keep going, you know? And so we're gonna see how everything turns out. I'm very excited for this project. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Um, I really didn't have my camera on much after like the first clip, I just started going to work um, because it was kind of getting late in the day, so I wanted to get whatever I could done. So here's what we got off so far, guys. Uh, basically the entire rear suspension. Every, the only thing I'm missing right now is my upper control arms. So, I mean, this stuff was pretty straightforward to take off. It just takes a little time. I haven't had any complications yet. All I have left is the ball joint for the uh, toe arm right here. Uh, I need to take that off. I've already got the uh, the brakes secured over here with the zip ties, so these are ready. Um, now we're gonna take off the axles from the hub. Then it's time for the subframe. So we're gonna take the subframe off in this video unless I have a huge complication. So right now my goal for the morning is to take off a subframe. So guys, when removing your axle nuts, uh, there's gonna be a little punch right here. So you gotta first remove that, either you got a flathead or a punch tool, um, and then you're just gonna get a hammer, now once you get that punched out, uh, you're gonna need a size 32 socket, um, either impact wrench or uh, breaker bar. So we're gonna attempt this first, see what happens. There it is. So here's the punch I was telling you guys about. See, it's kinda got like an indent. And so you gotta push this out. Uh, so when you put it back on, you have to punch it right back in, basically. But now that we got that off, we're ready to go. Um, you're gonna get a pretty much a flat head. Stick it right here in the middle here and start hammering it out. Okay guys, so the punching method with the, uh, the hammer, I'll be honest, it, it didn't really work. So what I ended up doing, I just grabbed my hub like this in the bottom and I yanked it up. And then see, it pulled out the uh, axle. It's actually almost out. So now we're gonna wiggle it around a little bit. Let me set you guys down. I'm gonna wiggle it around so I can get it out. Okay, now we got the hub hanging. Axle is down. It pulls you guys up. I'm still having a hard time on the other side of the wheel, guys. I've gotten it out of the diff on the other side, but not from the hub. There is one axle, guys. Holy smokes. This was not easy. Um, the videos were definitely, you know, made it look much easier than it was because the other method with the crowbar um, wasn't working. So I actually screwed it back in on the hub and I pulled the hub out just how I did to remove it from the hub in the first place. 
I did that, cause leverage to pull this out um, from the diff. So we got one axle gone. I'm gonna try and work at this one, guys. Um, oh, this is gonna be so long. One week later. All right, guys, I just gave up. By the way, most of the rear suspensions is all size 17. A couple things are gonna be a little different. You got 12s, you got 14s, a few 10s. Most of it size 17. So that's like your handy dandy tool, guys. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right, guys, so when you take it off the drive shaft, you got 14 millimeters on both sides here. They're fairly easy. They're not torqued down pretty hard, uh, tight. However, it's pretty hard to reach the top side because there's four bolts. So um, I just assumed this, and luck, I got pretty lucky, but I went ahead and put my car in neutral, and I rotated it because there's a bolt on the top you can't reach. Um, with I mean, it's pretty freaking hard. So yeah, now I can get this very last bolt off. Dry shaft will be unhooked, and then we're gonna go for these big, big old suck. I don't know if taking this off is gonna drop fluid or not, but dry shaft is now off. Whew. By the way, you guys, freaking diff fluids are like rotten eggs. I'm mean, just absolutely disgusting. But it is off, man. I'm excited. It's just something new for me, guys. Like doing all stuff like this, so I'm really excited every time I make a new achievement. Okay, size 17, guys. I should have known, like I said, everything on the freaking rear suspension is size 17. Now I'm gonna open up both of them, kind of like halfway, just to get even length on them. Uh, there we go. All right. And now probably what you want to do at this point, guys, I'm going to go get my jack, jack it up so it's mounted upwards and it's not going to collapse. The ones in the rear are 19s, guys. Ugh. All right. And again, make sure you got a jack holding it up. This thing is heavy, guys, and you do not want to drop it, especially if you got your car on like a lift. That would freaking suck. I should have had someone on the other end to lower the jack. Well, shit. Oh, <laughs> I gotta fucking reach. Come on, baby. She's coming down nice and slow. Whew. Oh, that was a fucking workout. There it is, guys. There's the diff. I haven't thought about how I'm gonna get this down yet, but I didn't really want to be under it. But I might have. To. <laughs> Not exactly how I planned it on going, but it worked. We got the cell frame off. Um, that's gonna be a wrap for this video, guys. There's gonna be a couple parts, obviously, to this entire project. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed. Um, just stay tuned for the up and coming. It's pretty crazy. I'd never thought I'd ever do this on my car, but there was nothing on the underneath. That's actually really cool. Um, so, I mean, for you guys that are learning as well, this is such a great way to learn uh, more about your car and just more about the components, and, and especially in the rear, for instance. So, yeah, I hope you guys have all enjoyed, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you guys did subscribe guys yeah i really appreciate any and all support any feedback you guys have any tips tricks i can use for this install or anything in the future anyways guys catch our next one peace